My name's Terry Irwin, and this is one of TCII's best business practice videos, and the topic is better team collaboration. Today's business environment demands innovative solutions executed rapidly and precisely by people working well together. To be an effective leader, you must be able to rally a team and lead it to its goal, successfully negotiating obstacles along the way. At TCII, we've distilled 10 team collaboration guidelines from the work we've done with clients over the last decade. Number one, teamwork. The source of teamwork is a common future. If you focus on the intersection of your view, their view, and the facts, you'll reveal common purposes that enable strong problem solving. For teams to become strong, they need to consider intersections in three domains. Shared purpose, shared principles, and specific measurable goals. Number two, influence. Having influence is a need as natural as breathing. People do influence each other and the course of events in their organizations. The important question is, is the influence valuable or wasteful? Valuable influence requires a shared view of reality, a common purpose, an understanding of how decisions are made, clear ways to give input to decision makers and clear ways to get information from decision makers. Number three, purpose. Great achievement demands being true to purpose in the face of fear and threat. The law of purpose recognizes that all human beings have important purposes. They exhibit a biological response to threat, flight, fight, freeze, or appease, that has evolved as a powerful mechanism for ensuring survival. Often these fearful reactions make us forget our most important purposes. To spend more time true to purpose, you need three things. Awareness, learn to catch by our reactions. A worthy purpose to turn your attention towards. And discipline, choose actions that move towards purpose rather than succumb to bioreactions. Number four, listening. The test for listening is learning. Ordinary listeners only listen until they have an opinion about what they're hearing or until they validate what they already know. Great listeners listen until they learn something they didn't know before. Number five, conversation. The quality of a conversation governs the rate of value creation. Conversation can be gauged according to four domains, going from the slowest to the fastest. They're pretense, sincerity, accuracy, and authenticity. Pay attention to which domain your conversation is in and speed it up by moving it up to the next domain. Number six, appraisal. Judgments are based on perception, not on reality. So hold on to them lightly. Consider an explanation as an investment. Just as you carefully consider where to invest your savings, it's smart to consider which explanation to invest in. The next time you're in a wasteful conversation, list three to five explanations for the behavior of the people involved. Then compare the explanations for value by asking, which explanations make the conflict worse? Which explanations help me launch a valuable conversation? Which explanations give me the best ideas for valuable action to take? Number seven, resistance. When you get resistance, do research. Resistance often triggers bioreaction, and we try to overwhelm resistance or run away from it, which only causes resistance to increase. The valuable response to resistance is to research the other person's purposes, concerns, and circumstances. Then you have a chance to discover an intersection. Number eight, failure. The integrity of failure is a return on investment. Humans inevitably make mistakes, but mistakes can yield valuable learning if we focus on adjustment rather than on blame and disappointment. Number nine, consensus. Having influence does not equal having a veto. Somewhat mistakenly, consensus has come to mean that everyone has to agree, but the more precise meaning of the word is to feel or think together. For fast resolution, use consensus to mean that all relevant people can influence rather than all relevant people have a veto. If everyone has a veto, they're less likely to explore other views and craft the best result. To benefit from broad input, identify upfront 
who will make the decisions if the group does not agree. The decision maker must learn from the others involved. Number 10, appreciation. Appreciation is the soul of collaboration, bringing meaning, resilience and learning to the workplace. For the individual, appreciation makes work meaningful and worthwhile. For the organisation, appreciation honours a highly valued contribution and makes it an example for all. Appreciation strengthens organisations. To recap these 10 guidelines, the source of teamwork is a common future. Having influence is as natural as breathing. Great achievement demands being true to purpose in the face of fear and threat. The test for listening is learning. The quality of a conversation governs its value. Judgments are based on perception, not on reality, so hold them lightly. When you get resistance, do research. The integrity of failure is return on investment. Having influence does not equal having a veto. And finally, appreciation is the soul of collaboration, bringing meaning, resilience and learning to the workforce. If you're interested in finding out more, call me, Terry Irwin, on 0207 099 2621 or download our free snapshot from the TCI website at tcii.co.uk.